Hi everyone, I'm Precious and you're welcome back to my channel Beyond the Blows where we'll talk about everything affecting our present reality. Okay, so what do I want to talk about today? Okay, today I would like to talk about existential crisis because it's evident in society, yeah? where you know there are a lot of memes out there and there are a lot of people who are of the opinion that they just feel sad they just feel bad they just feel out of proportion like just not themselves because of well some inexplainable reason or the other but i'm here to tell you today that there is actually a reason for why you feel that way. There is actually a reason for why you feel empty. There's a reason for why you don't feel like talking to nobody. There is a reason for why you have to listen to me right about now. Okay, so what is this existential crisis actually? Existential crisis is a phase in an individual, a well-thinking individual's life where they just feel like empty, clueless. Like, they just, it's like one moment they're all happy, bubbly, dibby, dibby, da, 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 the ear, and the next moment they're like, hmm. Sometimes, okay, this phases of existential crisis, if not dealt with in time, are actually going to lead to depression. Like, that's so... That's like a fact, a fact, Google it. But in situations where a person understands that, okay, I think I just, I might be experiencing some existential crisis, whatever. What do they do? They snap out of it. They snap out of it. So basically, existential crisis is not, you know, when you hear existential crisis, some people start feeling, oh, maybe you are beginning to feel like your world is over. Yeah, some people actually do feel like their world, their world is over. Some people who don't know how to deal with it, look for external coping mechanisms. Well, I don't know. Some people go for sex, some people go for drugs, some people go out to chill with friends. And that's, that's actually a very, 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 very good way of dealing with it. While some people, well they just become sober and start thinking of all those sad negative depressive and then they fall into depression please i want everybody and it's like it's a need for everybody to understand that existential crisis happens to every damn one of us there are days when we are conflicted on what is happening to us you get this way you just like why am i even alive do you feel that way i don't know if anybody feels that way but there are some days that i'll be like why am i even alive what's my mission in this life oh nobody loves me nobody cares about me i feel so sad no leave it no truthfully 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 this is a fact everybody feels that way there actually is a reason so Contrary to those memes that tell you, oh, there are days where you feel sad, there are days where you feel gloomy, there are days where you feel empty. Listen, we all know that those days that you don't feel sad or those days that you feel sad, we now know that inside our heads we are thinking many, many thoughts. And most of those thoughts are depressive. And most of those thoughts are not even supposed to enter our heads sometimes. But why do they enter our heads? Because existential crisis. We just feel depressed. We don't know why, but we just feel that way. And it has a name. It's existential crisis. So next time you feel like, oh, nobody likes me. Nobody wants to be with me. Nobody this. Nobody that. Nobody. Oh my God. Fucking look in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm fucking enough. And everybody loves me. Everybody wants to be with me. And I'm not going to sit down here and let this existential crisis fuck up with my head you know you just gotta tell yourself that i ain't gonna let you fuck up with my head existential crisis bye <laughs> and when you tell yourself that what happens what happens you snap out of it like and then you see your life is fucking perfect like okay even if your life is not fucking perfect like 
uh, okay I don't believe in perfection so I will not even say your life is perfect but you just find yourself that you're happier best way to deal with that feeling of emptiness is to realize that you are enough you're amazing you are beautiful yeah tell yourself that sometimes i know a lot of people don't actually tell themselves like that myself but you gotta do that sometimes you gotta do that you gotta let the existential crisis get out of your system baby <laughs> i feel goofy today so i'm just going to goof around anyways it's nice talking to you bye